Um. Ooh. Uh. Seeking Sandman. Oh, 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 wait. I'm sorry. Sandman. Uh, Sandman. I couldn't tell by the picture. Nobody asked you. I don't even know why you opened your mouth about the Black Manosphere. Nobody asked you. Let's talk about it. Now, before I get into the crux of this video, full disclosure, I have nothing against MGTOW personally. If that's the way you want to live your life, your life, that's your business. I but but in this point in time, I'm particularly talking to Sandman. Nobody else that's in MGTOW. Now, with that being said, Apparently, Sandman decided to open his mouth about the Black Manosphere. Pale skin, white dude, wants to talk about what black men are doing in their own space. Gee, we've I've never we never seen this before, have we? So, um, sinking sand. Claimed in, claimed in the video that I will have linked in the description that uh, an Asian man owns the Negro Manosphere and that the Negro Manosphere and the Black Manosphere are the same thing. So, and, and he's basically saying an Asian man in, in somewhere in Canada owns the Negro Manosphere and black black men are just, you know, uh, you, you know, eating off of him. There are many problems with this, but I'm, I'm gonna get I will get to that in a second. Second, he, he's claiming that the black man of fear is like I said, he's claiming that the black man of fear is owned by an Asian man that helped O'Shea with a website in uh, Coach Greg Adams, I believe. Um, he claimed, uh, and once again, he claimed the Negro man of fear and the black man of fear are the same thing. Lord. Oh, uh, he also called himself on his channel checking black women with their problems. Now, I already know what some of y'all are going to say. You, but yeah, but maybe me, you check black women too. Yeah, I'm a black man. It's my job to check black women. It, it, it ain't this white dude's job to check black women. There's a difference. He's not married to one. Now, if you married, now, now, uh, uh, for all you swirls and divestment, if you married to one of those swirls di divestment, yeah, you have a right to check them. But you do, but black women as a whole, you, you, you don't need to be speaking on them unless you're dating one. But anyway, he calls himself checking, like I said, he calls himself checking black women. You know, all I have to say about this is um, this. Say that uh, seeking sand is this. Mind your damn business. Quick history lesson. First of all, shout out to Valdez the Angry Man. He's the one who coined the term Black Manosphere. Not O'Shea, not Obsidian, and not Kevin Samuels. Which brings me to my next point. Oh, and I, and I already know the Kevin Samuels fanboys are not going to like me after I say this, but it's just the truth. Kevin Samuels does not run the Black Manosphere. Yeah, I said it. If any of his trolls have a problem with it, go kick rocks. I don't give a shit. But anyway, uh, also, O'Shea and Kevin got started after Valdez. Not before. They got started after Valdez. Kevin Samuels and I believe O'Shea too can be seen commenting in Valdez's live streams. So get your facts straight. That's right. Kevin Samuels was a fan of the was a fan of the Angry Man 
long before his channel blew up. Get over it, you Kevin Samuels fanboys. Yeah, I said it. Now, anyway, you call yourself speaking on what our women are doing when you need to be worried about what Becky, Karen, and your mistresses are doing. And when I say mistress, I ain't talking about your side chicks if you get my drift. You need to, you need my mind your own business, dude. Yeah, black women have plenty of problems. But it's not your place to tell them anything. Like and like I said, unless you're dating one, they 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 you could check her, but you don't have the right to speak on black women as a whole. That's black man's job to do, not yours. Also, regarding the uh, uh, the Asian man, some Asian man in Canada owns the black manosphere. Uh, that's wrong too. Uh. Black Manosphere trademark is owned by a black man. Um, you should have did your res, you should have did your research before you opened your mouth, bro, dude. <sighs> oh, one more thing. One more thing. Uh, Val uh, Valdez has already did a video on this. Shout out to him for doing that video. I'll link that in the, the description to my description too. You made a great point. Uh, we see what you're trying to do. We we see the dog was was uh, we see the dog whistles. You trying to trying to get those folks to cut the uh, come shut down the black mental sphere. Oh, by the way, and this is something Valdez didn't mention, but I'm going to mention. You're also trying to spread that black people are trying to hurt Asian people. Bullshit. And that is bullshit. Bullshit, if you looked at some of my other videos, uh, I spoke on this. It's not black people going around trying to hurt Asians like that. It's you. It's your people that are doing that. Get it straight. It ain't black people doing that. It's your people that are going against Asians like that. In fact, there's more. We got a ton of video evidence that Asian people go after our women. We, we You think we forgot about... The, the, them hitting on our women in, in, in their stores? You think we forgot about that shit? Like I said, mind your business, Sandman, and keep the black man for his name out of your mouth. One more thing before I get out of here. I know there's a, I know there's some black men in this space that that want that want that want to suck up to you, but I ain't one of them. I ain't your boy. I ain't trying to be your boy. Like some black dudes do in this street. Do, doing in the black manosphere. I ain't your boy. Get it straight, Sandman. This is AB Media 83. And I'm out. Yo. This is AB Media 83. You like the channel? You like what I do? Hit the Cash App link in the description. Don't be another statistic. Keep it grinding. Keep it pushing. And most of all, keep it moving. This has been AB Media 83, and I'm out.